You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if they want to hit shots, I want to have it. But um, overall, man, I feel like we played a good game. I'm, I'm more happy about that. I feel like when we start hitting a little adversity, uh, third quarter, early fourth, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we stayed together. You know, we've been struggling with that, so. Hey, Rob, Ime just talked about having short-term memory. What did you think about your team's ability to respond, though, after Wednesday's, Wednesday's performance coming out strong like that? Yeah, uh, we just been uh, questioning each other, honestly. Um, not even in a bad way. Uh, if you can't take criticism from your teammates and your peers, you know you can't play. So I feel like uh, this game was just a respect game, a fight game, you know, and we want to show we we here. When you say you're questioning each other, what does that mean? Like, how are you guys questioning each other? Meaning that if I fuck up on something, none of my teammates scared to approach me about it. You know what I'm saying? It can't be like that. I got to be able to take, you know what I'm saying, a slap in the chest, keep going. And I feel like uh, I feel like everybody getting better at that. I feel like uh, this was a game where we, you know what I'm saying, we put an emphasis on that. Don't get caught up in the crime. You know, after one mistake, if we missing shots, keep playing defense. You know, keep running back. Just be fo beat up for each other. It's been kind of a rough December. How did that weigh on you guys, and how important did you think it was to come out and beat a really good Suns team? Uh, man, we just wanted to play a full 48 minutes together. You know, like I said, I feel like that was the biggest thing. Uh, it's a great dub, but I like the direction we're moving towards, you know what I'm saying? So, Thanks. That's a Zoom question from Chris Ryan, Rob. Hey, Rob. Pope Ball as well with you. Happy New Year. Um, just your thoughts on the effort that you guys put in tonight, up and down uh, for 48 minutes, and also how you sustain the runs there in the third and, and fourth quarter. Yeah, um, you know, we just pulled each other in into the uh, huddle a lot, just telling them they're going to make runs. You know, when they make runs, we got to still do what we do. I feel like we did a good job of it. One more Zoom from Chris, Chris Saltas. Hey, Rob, congratulations on the triple double and the win as well. Uh, that performance for you personally, what do you represents about your role in the team and your growth as the season goes on? Um, I'm realizing, you know, the team needs me as well as we need everybody else, you know, but um, as far as being an anchor defensively, uh, communication-wise, I'm realizing they expect, you know, communication out of me. I'm going to start on this team for a reason. So just knowing that they trust me enough to take what I'm saying, you know, uh, and put an effort towards it to fix it is is a big commitment. Yeah, Ime was in here, and um, when he was asked about you, he said, you're so much more than people think you are. What does that mean to you, and, and what do you, Jeez. how do you see that? I mean, he believe in me <laughs> a lot, you know. Um, I guess he sees something in me I don't. Uh, I'm thankful for the way he pushes me every day, you know what I'm saying, uh, trying to get that out of me, I guess. but. Um, it's just an honor, you know, to have him talking like that. But obviously, there's more I got to achieve if my coach feels like this. So. And then along those lines with the rough December and stuff, how much pressure are you guys putting on yourselves and individually as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's tough uh, giving up the leads, losing how we've been losing. Um, we hang our heads, but the thing about this league is uh, you ain't got time to hang your head. Like, you know, we got games uh, in a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? So. A triple double cool, we won, but we gotta get to the next one. Thank you. No Robert, uh, Ime was critical of you, and he told us, and he told you after the Minnesota game. Um, what's the difference between kind of being out there and just playing free and kind of, but, but not as disciplined, and then sometimes when you have to play disciplined? I mean, is that just a transition that you're making? It's slow or how do you kind of think you're progressing on you know doing the not only blocking shots and running the floor but also the defensive assignments and where to be and that type of thing yeah I feel like uh I feel like I'm one of the people on my team that has to set the tone with that especially being a starter you know and I feel like that's what they look look towards me for I feel like that's one of my main jobs on the team is just to come out with their energy you know and, and as far as being disciplined you always want to be disciplined so the game gets away from us a lot sometimes. We try to fix it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, I feel like tonight we, we did a good job holding it together. Did you know you were close to a triple-double? Uh, nah, um, I didn't know. So <laughs> when did you find out? <laughs> uh, 
when I subbed at the game, I think, and uh, Jay Rich was like, oh yeah, Rob. <laughs> Triple double rod, so it was my first one. I'm thankful for it for sure. First one like high school, college? Uh know? probably since maybe maybe A and M. I don't remember triple double A and M most likely high school. Okay. Wrap it up right there. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Twist. There you go.